Pandas, it's a beautiful day and gas prices are a little crazy. You know what helps? Big scrap pickups. Not that we're driving a big pickup, but there's some big scrap and we're gonna go pick it up. That made sense, right? Yeah. Yes. Wow! This building is really going up fast. Yes, we're, we're heading to the work site to see what they've got stashed for us. They called me over and uh, apparently it's, 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 it's getting pretty heavy out there. So we're gonna do what we can. Might not even be able to take it all. Hey, it's your old pal Editing Thub, brought to you once again by uh, GoPro's tendency to just completely bork your footage once in a while, and that is why GoPro will never be accepted as a professional piece of equipment for serious videographers. Uh, but what you missed out on were a cool few establishing shots of uh, what the building and what the, the property looks like in this stage. Uh, some neat introductions from, uh, from Wub, and... Uh, all the excitement of seeing a giant bin full of metal, but it's all right. We've still got this exciting time lapse. Not bad, but we're gonna cap it there because I think uh, a few sheets back would have been a sensible load. Despite how it no doubt appears, this is not the stupidest load I've ever piled onto this truck. You can get away with pretty much anything in a construction site if it's big enough and you look like you belong there. <laughs> Just kidding, we had permission. But, um, th we didn't want to spend our entire afternoon doing exactly this, so we're going to roll out and, um, uh, yeah, we'll talk about this in a bit. Well, now it's Monday. Let's get rid of this stuff. I think it's probably pretty close to a thousand pounds. Proper squat! Although I wish it wasn't riding on my roof. Gonna need a lick of paint after this one. Alright! Nice! Ding! And <laughs> that's gonna be something, alright? Okay. Less gawking, more dropping! Oh man, it smells like poop. Like it straight up smells like feces. Oh crap. Okay, all right. It's kind of stuck right now, no big deal. If anybody wanted to do a roof, this would be the stuff. But like, oh, jeez. Oh no. Okay, I just broke my handle. I just straight up broke it. That's not great. It's actually pretty bad. It's gonna be a bit of a pain. Glad I got the gloves and the suit because these corners are sharp. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll catch up with you once I get this off. All right, you know what? That actually didn't scrape up my roof too bad. Bit of a dent there, but I ain't worried. Dent there, little bit of paint, but you know what? Overall, that's pretty good. And in here, there's a little bit of prep, but... Hmm. 
Is that copper? No, that's rust. All right, this one can go. Uh, that'll be prep. These are some little bits of aluminum, but I just, I don't know if they're, they're probably not worth it. <laughs> One sec. I got this nice slab. Swoop. Not much, but it's worth a little more. So we might as well get paid a little more. 50% more. And you know what? I'm just gonna deal with these at home. I don't think there's enough to really, yeah, forget it. We're going home. Well, it's a good day for steel. Would you look at that? Uh, I showed up right on time because they just put the price up 30 minutes ago it was at eight cents a pound i just got 12 and a half cents a pound for 1235 pounds of uh tin steel shred yeah, they call it tin and um 15 and a half cents a pound for the prep so a total of 166 bucks yeah some of you guys were telling me that steel was going up i hadn't seen it yet but uh yeah, we, we picked a good day. And so did the rest of those guys. Look, everybody's rolling in with hot water heat. Water heaters. <laughs> Let's go back to the house. I got other stuff going on. Well, I suppose I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, the price increase. Although, uh, even with that, uh, that only really paid for a tank of gas. And uh, I just ordered the um, replacement door handle. So, these bits of aluminum casing and wire are kind of our only profit out of that. one but I splurged on the all metal replacement handles so I mean that's a bit of an upgrade so that'll be nice shouldn't break that again hopefully we got some other junk to load up so uh, I'll crack on and get through this and uh, I will keep you guys informed Okay, new plan, we're out of the house. There's uh, a friend of the channel called me by because he's got some goodies waiting for us. So we're heading over there. But of course, as you do, you know, we're not driving on the roads, we're driving on the alleys. And uh, I found a couple rugs. This one is just like, eh, whatever. But this one is a huge sheepskin. Yes, it's got a couple stains. You know what? I don't care. It's a sheepskin. Ugh. I've never seen one that big. One half the size I've seen go for $200. Already, I believe I have found it. Just need to go and talk to the site supervisor first. Also, I forgot my hard hat. I meant to grab that. Oops. I'm just gonna blast through it. I don't think it's, I don't think it's that uh, interesting piece by piece. found it I should say so filled up faster than I was expecting actually I might not be able to throw anything on top of this 
you made a couple bits of copper wire, which is pretty sweet. Thanks, bud. Now, he also mentioned there might be a few bits in here, but uh, Boss Man said they were just throwing stuff on top of it, so I probably wouldn't be able to... Uh, yeah, that looks pretty tough. A couple pieces in there, but nah. All right, let's roll out. And now, we're just going to load up a bunch more steel that I already had at the house. I didn't load it up before because I wanted to be sure. I didn't know how much was going to be there. God, this is going to be a really weird angle, I bet. That one's pretty heavy. Aluminum. Okay, so we got a half copper one. And that's why I also grabbed this. Yep, straight aluminum in there. All right. Not a bad little load. Maybe, nah, maybe 650 pounds, maybe more. around here. Sort of get the impression maybe they're all, uh, maybe the boss has got them all working overtime trying to get as much of the material in these piles shifted as quickly as possible. Because they bought it for a lot cheaper than it's selling for right now. So I imagine it's a spectacular time for a scrapyard with a lot of inventory to cash out. 50% up? That's a lot. And we're back, 545 pounds. That wasn't too far off. So a cheeky little $68. Can't be mad about that. It was really full though. I kind of expected it to be more than that, but I suppose that's the, the situation with siding and that kind of stuff. Now, something I wanted to share with you all real quick before I just went ahead and did it. Uh, I'm thinking of taking a slightly different direction with the videos over the next little while. I've noticed a bit of a trend in where my views are coming from, and uh, I think this could be a good move. Um, so it's not going to be like a complete hard left, uh, but I want to try out a few different styles, and I am hoping I can count on your support on uh, this part of the YouTube journey. Um, and I've got a bunch of um, uh, a bunch of scrap metal guide type videos, just a few more uh, to kind of round out the whole catalog. And then I think I'll probably be be done with those. So, um, yeah, not planning on any any dumpster diving scrap pickups over the n next little while. Uh, hey, it's your old pal Editing Thub once again. This time brought to you by my own forgetfulness. I just wanted to point out that part of this is motivated by how dumpster diving constantly has me bringing home more junk, and I have sort of a lot of junk to deal with, so I'm hoping this is a solution that will help me deal with the junk. There are a few other elements I was hoping to have in place already, but I'm just not that organized a person, kind of just figuring out as I go, and <laughs> it's been, a, it's a bit of a ride, but uh, I'm glad you guys are here for it. So. It's all gonna be right here. We're not going anywhere. We're not interrupting the upload schedule. Might even be able to fit in a few more. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy it. I think you will. And I look forward to your support. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.